end of this emerging market sell-off than the beginning or not? Clearly not uh, near the end, I'm afraid. I've got some bad news for you, Jimmy. We're probably, I would say, uh, past the midpoint of the correction, but this is a correction that is going to last for several more months. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been some big moves already, and maybe uh, some markets have moved more than others, uh, so there's a speed differentiation there, uh, but to me, uh, we have some more pain to go. So, you're, so you're, you're, we're talking several more months here. Um, where will that selling be most concentrated? Are we looking at the same places that we've seen in, in the last few weeks? For example, uh, India's rupee? India's rupee is very much on the radar, but of course, given the moves we've seen so far, uh, I would say uh, we are probably closer to the end of the correction. But the dynamics uh, in the short term are clearly not positive and I'm definitely not going to buy the INR at this point. I'm going to stay very cautious and we're going to continue to see breaking new lows in the period ahead. Other currencies also under pressure like the Brazilian Real for example, Indonesia's Rupiah, they have the, they have the central banks that are fighting their corner much more so than say India and Turkey. But you're not really impressed by these central bank actions, are you? No. Uh, I must say, um, uh, so far, I've been very disappointed. Uh, I need to see a policy bazooka. I need to see a heavy hand. I need to see um, a big boost of investor confidence uh, in many of those places. Brazil has tried that. 60 billion uh, pledge to fight uh, the currency weakness and they'll probably raise interest rates today as well. Yes, uh, in terms of the interest rate hike, it's been well signaled. It's been discussed for quite some time. I would say it will probably have zero impact on the currency. Uh, so let's see what happens on the direct intervention front because they do have the firepower to do something. Uh, so they have the means. Will they have the political will though is the question. And so far, it's been poorly managed by the uh, Brazilian authorities. Okay, that's Brazil and Indonesia, they, they are acting. Turkey, on the other end of that spectrum, doesn't seem to be raising rates or doing anything proactive or strenuous. Um, that must be a, a real concern. Real concern and real disappointment. Uh, I would say credibility of the central bank is uh, actually going south a bit. Uh, I would have hoped to see a much more powerful rate hike and it was a 50 basis point hike in the top end of the corridor uh, last week. Uh, very unambitious uh, given the currency crisis mode we are operating under. Uh, so I'd like to see much more. Real money investors, real money accounts, they haven't thrown in the towel yet. And uh, you think that's perhaps the most important turning point here or, or not? Yes, it's a big deal. I mean, real money investors, emerging markets have been the darling. Uh, until recently of global markets, uh, a lot of chasing the carry, a lot of chasing the yield uh, uh, investment strategies, and this is being unwound. Uh, but I haven't seen aggressive uh, bond selling just yet. If that happens, there's going to be an escalation in financial stress uh, in local markets.